obviously congratulations on your win tonight. Um, can you talk about how the fight played out versus your expectations? You actually called yesterday that it was going to be a knockout in the second round. It seemed like you were very, very patient. What was the game plan and how did it play out versus your expectations? Well, my, my game plan is always to keep uh, fighting on my feet, you know, and looking for the knockout. And uh, Frank Mir is a very dangerous fighter, you know, especially when he he takes you down. And he tried to do that, and I, I tried to make him a little bit more tired in the first round. And I came to, uh, to the second round to, to knock him out. That was my strategy, and that works. Thank God for that. You predicted a second round knockout. Uh, one, was it really something that you thought was going to happen? Or was it, um, and if so, if, if it was something in his game that you saw that would make that prediction? No, that was my strategy for the fight, you know? That what I what I was thinking to for the fight, you know? Uh, I thought he he was he, he came came for the fight to, to take me down, you know? And I in the first round I, I was trying to keep uh, the, my distance, you know, and make him tired, like I said. And the second round I, uh, my plan was to walk a little bit more forward than the first, you know, and I don't know that that was that that works, you know. And I think uh, when you believe so much in your performance in yourself, things happens, you know. That's why I'm so positive in my in what I think. Junior over here. Uh, no UFC heavyweight has ever defended their title three times. Do you feel that you could be the man to do that? Yeah, I feel. I feel like that. You know, I, I'm here to stay. I think like that, that's why I'm work, working so hard in, on my career, you know. I take that everything very serious, you know, and like I used to say, I'm very positive, I, I, I'm confident, and um, I'm here to stay. For Junior, uh, obviously there was supposed to be a, a very big uh, stadium show. It didn't work out because of the UN conference. Do you think that you're at a point now with your popularity, based on the fans that came all the way here and what you see back home, that maybe you and, and Kane can headline a, a stadium show in Brazil. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's uh, uh, I can uh, I think that can happen in Brazil. You know, uh, we make a, we make a, our fight in a stadium, and for sure the Brazilian people is gonna make this stadium a stadium full for to watch our fight. And I don't know who's, who, who UFC wants to put my, for my next opponent, but I think it's going to be Velasquez. And I know you don't like to talk about future fights, but I mean, obviously you had Kane win in unbelievable fashion tonight, and Junior, you know, looked very good. I mean, it's hard to see who's going to beat, uh, beat Junior uh, other than maybe Kane. Now, what do you think about making that fight again, and do you see that, uh, you know, as, as the most likely next fight? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I like it. Okay, so let's start talking time frame. <laughs> That I don't know. But, yeah, we, we like that fight. You know, Kane went undefeated um, for a long time, lost to Junior. They both, he defends the title, he wins. I like the fight. We'll see what happens. Junior, Dana just said that he likes the fight with you and Kane. Talk about the rematch and, uh, and how you think that'll go. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, Kane Velasquez is really tough. You know, for in my mind, he's a... Uh, He's uh, very different in this division. You know? He's fast. He's very fast, and uh, his um, his stamina is really good. You know, for for our division. So for sure, he is uh, he's dangerous and a good fight. But I don't care about who who's gonna be my opponent. You know, wherever UFC wants to put me against uh, to put to fight against me, uh, I will be watching his fights you know and making my making my strategy to to beat him you know uh, and if the the f uh, i have to fight with kane velasquez again uh, let's do it I'm, i will be ready for that and then over to kane kane could you talk about the rematch and what you would need to do differently in the uh, second time around yeah just uh i, I think bring bring more of the fight to him than than what i did before you know i said too long on the outside where He's dangerous. Um, you, you know, he has those fast, heavy hands, um, good, good, good footwork, and um, just you know, take take more of the fight to him.